Alright guys, so today we're going to do a little bit of dessert on the Blackstone. This isn't something you see very often, but something people ask a lot of questions about. And I'll show you a dessert that I like to make. First thing I like to do is just make sure I get a nice uh, even grill. Um, I've got some old oil on here. I've heated it up. But we're just going to make sure we wipe off the excess grill. Make sure there's not really anything extra on there. Once I get that done... Then we're going to take uh, these apples that I have and we're going to put these apples right on the grill. And once we got these apples on there, we're going to make sure that we've got the apples all touching so they get nice and hot. And then we're going to take some of our rolls. These are Pillsbury rolls. I haven't rolled them up. Throw a little butter right on our griddle. Go ahead and spread the butter around. And right there is where we're going to lay these. And now part of the trick for the apples is just keep them moving. We're going to get these apples nice and hot. I like to just keep folding the apples over on top of themselves. Distributes the heat, but it also is going to keep the syrup from burning on your blackstone. I'm cooking these on about a medium low heat, so the heat's not real hot, and you can't let it be too hot or it's just going to scorch the, the syrup of the apples. So what I do on the second side, we're going to add a little bit of butter just right onto the top of these. So that when we turn them over, we'll get that butter right on the other side. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and flip over our rolls here. A little bit too done, it's okay though. And on the second side, while we've got this going, it's still a little bit hot right now, so we're going to add a little bit more butter, just not a lot, just a drop. And then we're going to go ahead and spread that butter right on top there. Because what we're doing right now is we're going to make a nice coat for us to be able to stick some cinnamon and sugar to it.
right, so we're pretty much done. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take these and put them right onto the plate. take our apples and put them right in the middle. There we go. Now clean up is a cinch. You're taking all that syrup. Holy cow, what are you going to do with that? It's very easy. So we're just going to spray all of it off with a little bit of water. When you have a good solid seasoning, it doesn't take a whole lot. And then I'm going to do one coat of a layer of oil on here, and that's it. Pretty easy, guys. Dessert.